Okay, everybody. So we're live on Twitch. Um, I wanna, I wanted to uh, call you all uh, here together because I wanna, um, I want to show everybody the project we're working on. So, just very quickly, I'm just gonna jump into the explanation of what we're doing. Um, if you've been following the videos I've uploaded to my LinkedIn, uh, you'll notice that uh, I created a repository for scraping GitHub repositories uh, that are backed by Y Combinator. They are at most two years old and they're in, written in JavaScript or Ruby, right? And so all this code, all this stuff is just to get this list. This is the important list. And it's important because these repositories are um, easy for beginners. They're easy for beginners because they are two years old, tops, and they are good for beginners because they come from Y Combinator, which is this huge incubator of startups, right? So they are both important and uh, young, and so they're easy to get into, right? So the question is, how does one collaborate with these wonderful repositories? And the answer is, this number over here represents the number of open issues in a given repository, right? So an open issue is kind of like a pending task that is advertised in the repository in the project page. And you can just jump straight into an issue. And if you understand what it's about, if it's a bug or something, you can work on it and you can fix it for the people who are in charge of the project. So let's just take a look at how that would look like in real life. So if I want to participate in Chatwood, I click on issues and I, I just look for one that sort of fits my skill set, right? Um, however, you can sort of short circuit this process if you go to the labels and uh, you find a label that is beginner friendly. And the most popular one is good first issue. A good first issues, if I click here, this is going to show me all of the issues that are labeled good first issue. Right? And, and those are basically, if you roll your mouse over this, it says, if you are new and looking to contribute, right? So this is one good way to start. Now, the thing is, when I created this long list, I actually didn't know how many issues I was gonna have in total. So in total, we have 639, 344, 156. So the, the total number of issues from all of these repositories together is close to like between 1,000 and 2,000. And it's gonna be kind of a headache to go through every single one of these repos manually and do this thing where we go to the issues, we go to the labels, we find a beginner friendly label and you know, it's just too many steps, too many steps. And so what I want to do is I wanna take this list, I wanna look through it and I want to get all of the issues filtered in a single page. All of the all of these easy, important issues in JavaScript and Ruby in one single page. And the way to do that is with a, a front-end app. Just a very easy to code front-end app. And that's what we're doing here. It's called Issue Finder, and it's going to help you find easy issues uh, that are friendly to beginners. That's all this is. Um, so the first steps we, we've taken in this, um, I've already created a set, I've already created a team. So we're, we've come together, uh, a couple of, of peers and I, uh, here we are, the collaborators. Uh, we have Dennis, Josh, Gonzalo, Ricardo, Shadman and Steve and I. Uh, we're all working on this. We, we all want to make contributions. And the way the workflow we're following is we're using something called Notion to sort of keep track of our tasks, right? And so this is basically the backlog and the, you know, to-do and process. These are all the assignments to the tasks that we're doing in the project. Um, so far, so far, the only thing that is done is just like the skeleton, just the framework. So the code is still not functional. It's, it's just the, like the framework. 
Um, and we're just beginning, I'm just beginning to add the directory structure for it. Um, uh, Gonzalo is, um, is going to help us with the, uh, let me see. I think it's helping Steve with the UX and the graphic design. Um, we also have uh, Dennis, who's going to help us integrate some analytics. Uh, I myself am building the whole React part. Um, and uh, Ricardo is going to help us uh, communicate with the API. Right, so so that's that's how we're uh, sort of taking care of this. We're not following any like rigid standards uh, because I want to keep this like light, like light, lighthearted and so easy to easy to code. You know, we're just doing this for fun, and it's a small project, so it's it's sort of what, what we're doing right now. Anyway, that's the idea. That's that's what we're doing right now. Uh, does anyone have any questions about uh, what we're doing? Nope. No questions so far. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so yeah, that that's the, that's basically the project. I just want to ask anybody: uh, Has anyone like made any progress? I know Steve made some changes in the uh, the UX uh, design. Uh, Steve, did, did did you? I think you uploaded that to Notion. Yeah, I, I made one one design. Um, we presented it last week. We didn't record that week. But we, we noticed, we came together as a group, and we realized there's some things that needed to be changed. So then I revised the design, and I sent the second copy into Notion as well. So we have two designs there. Um, the second one is after feedback. So if you so, wanted to show them that, actually, you give them a look at what... what uh, yeah. Uh, would, would you be willing to show us? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so uh, just... Could you just put the link down to the Notion um, real yes. quick in the chat? Like, of course, of course. Uh, there we go. OK, thank you. No problem. OK, so let me just access that, and then I will share my screen. Mm -hmm. OK. All right, so let me share my screen now. Okay, can everyone see my gather screen? I can. Yeah. All right, so we're now going over to the Notion page. Okay, so uh, first start of the meeting notes. This is how we've been keeping track of just any little entry that we individually posed to the group. We keep track of that in our meeting notes, just help us to stay organized. And anyone can, wanting to contribute, this is a good way that everyone in the group will be informed with their, whatever you would like to do or contribute. So just put in the meeting notes. Um, so uh, <laughs> here goes my first note, created mock-up of issue finder version one. And oh, there's one thing we did not do that I think is very important. We did not give a grand epic entry for the name of our app. So <laughs> issue finder version 0 0.1. <laughs> now that yeah. that's been done. <laughs> that's you, 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 should, you should give the intro to the show, man. I, I'm so dry to, you know, <laughs> those kinds of things. Uh, you, should, you, should, you would be so much better at that. Amen. All right, we, we will grow and adapt. So this is version point 0.1 before feedback. And my original thinking was, uh, we have a search bar, but I wasn't really too sold on the search bar. I'm more interested in the fact that we have some kind of filter where we can say, OK, we want repositories, for example, between this age and or this month and this month. So you know, we're finding exactly the, the range um, in date for a particular repository. And then we want it specified by language, for instance. And we can just have those filters and like checkboxes. So click, I want a repository that's no less than three months old. Click, I want Ruby. And then once we have our filters sorted out in step one, my thinking was we have a nice, easy uh, display here that's easily accessible on smaller devices as well as on a big screen that directly um, brings the user's attention to the most easy commit or issue that we can find, which is great first issue. That should have been issue, not commit. but 
And that's what it is, right in the center. Great first um, issue should be here. And once you click on this, um, the script that Oscar wrote will do its job and it will display the nicely sorted GitHub repos for the open source repositories that we're looking for. So that was my thinking. Um, but after some feedback, we found out uh, that maybe the search bar is not such a great idea, probably not very practical. You just want to give the reasons for that, Oscar? Yeah, because um, it's just going to take too long to write all those filters. And uh, we want an MVP a ASAP, right? right. So like, we, we just want people to start using this. And I think what it would be enough just with the, um, the labels for now. And then we can build on top of that. Uh, also, like the community, we're going to get bit feedback from the community. And we should let them tell us like where they want the project to grow, I think. Yeah, and you know what? That makes a lot of sense in alignment with, um, you know, uh, continuous delivery, continuous, you know, building of our project. We want to get something out there as soon as possible and get community feedback as soon as possible so that we are building for the people and it will be more useful for them uh, right away. Because we have some grandiose ideas that we want to do for the future, <laughs> like uh, add a nice label basket, which is like a shopping cart. Uh, People's for choice. People's, people's choice. choice. <laughs> people's choice labels. Like, what exactly. are the labels most people search for ranked by number? You know? Yeah. And yeah, then label ranking. So we, we got carried away, and Dennis had to reel us back in and bring us back to reality and focus on <laughs> what's important. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dennis. Main functionality. Dennis really brought us back to the real world uh, with the MVP. So, uh, yeah. So, um, real world reality looks like. Wait for it, wait for it. Boom! Issue finder version two, <laughs> minus the search bar. <laughs> so yeah, we have uh, the same setup, but it's just what you need. You're gonna have the most, um, I guess, the most widely searched issues easily available right away. You click on it, and then we give you back some links, and you can immediately start your searching. I think that's the best idea, as minimalist as possible, or as simple as possible. Cool, okay, cool. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I guess I can stop sharing my screen, if that's okay. Thank you, uh, Steve. Um, I uh, wanted to mention uh, something related to what you said about, so that's going to be like the, the UX design, and then what's going to happen? Uh, and you mentioned that uh, the script that I wrote is going to do that, and... That's just partly true because actually the part of the code that's going to do the, the filtering, uh, Ricardo, uh, Ricardo is going to take care of it. Um, so, uh, Ricardo, I just want to ask you, did you check out the, um, the documentation for uh, issue filtering from the GitHub API? Yeah, I I'm, uh, was about to do that. Uh... Uh, today, uh, Oscar, as I mentioned to you in uh, LinkedIn, huh? today I had to check out for uh, for a job, uh, oh, job right, uh, right. position. Uh, mm -hmm. It was something unexpected today uh, that I had for uh, based on the advice that I took from Matthias, my coach, my career coach, and, and sharing uh, some posts and uh, talking with with a recruiter. Uh, fortunate, fortunately, I I got a. Uh, 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 an interview and move on, move it on to an interview. So that's why I, I said to you that, uh, and I'm going to take care of that, take care of it, mm -hmm. uh, just uh, as finishing this session, Oscar, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because that's I was checking out, I was about to check out, but uh, that's that's right. Yeah, uh, that's totally cool, man. Like I I understand what you're saying, and actually the whole point of what we're doing here is kind of to get a job. <laughs> so if you uh, if you achieve the the ultimate goal before us, uh, that's gonna be great. That's that's gonna be good. Uh, so so yeah yeah. Uh, 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 kudos to you for that. And uh, and don't worry don't worry about it. Uh, like uh, what we're the way we're working is like whenever you have some time or whenever you feel like it, maybe uh, drop us a line on Notion or push something on the on the repo. Right, it's it's when you want to do it, no pressure at all. So uh, that's okay. It's cool. Thank you, Oscar. Yeah, I think 
yeah, it's sure. Uh, I think uh, finishing this meeting uh, it would be nice. It seems uh, totally like uh, some project, and uh, we're working seems uh, it can be it can be beneficial uh, for sure for the microbiology students. Yeah, yeah, for our careers, because uh, the whole idea is to sort of show off our skills and our like uh, the way we can come together to organize some some code like this is actual like real life uh, coding experience, you know, mob programming, but on GitHub, you know, this is kind of like what real programmers do. So, yeah, that's that's totally the intention here. So uh, moving on from that, I um, want to go straight to the code and uh, show Ricardo and uh, Steve um, where you all can start adding your, your lines of code. OK, so. I'm just going to go straight up to the repo. And I'm going to just help you navigate so you can clone this and sort of start playing around with it, OK? Um, oh, so who do we have here? Uh, hey, guys. Good evening. Uh, hey, hey, Jose Ramon. How are you? Good. I just, uh, sorry, I'm just joining from my stand-up call because I have also I'm on a regular program, so I still have responsibilities over there. So it's okay. Yeah. Uh, we're we're streaming on Twitch, so okay. uh, I hope that's cool with you. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Cool. So we're just about to check out the code we're working on, and I I, do, I was just about to show Steve uh, and uh, Ricardo where they can add their code. Okay. So. This is the directory structure from the SRC folder where all the source code is. Now, I've already added some boilerplate code. And the place where Steve can begin adding some like aesthetics is um, going to be precisely in containers. And we're just going to have one big container, the app.js container. And right now, this is just the standard boilerplate code for a React app. Um, whatever changes you make here, they're going to show up in the app, right? Uh, now, I'm currently I am um, using Gitpod to check this out. So basically, if if you have if you have the chance, Steve and Ricardo, uh, you can just go to the repo. And if you don't want to clone it and you, you don't want to go through all the trouble of doing that stuff, you can just click here where it says Git Pod. And that's going to like open a software development environment for you like this one. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's just on the browser. And basically, this is going to sort of launch the, the React app. And like I said, this is the default app uh, uh, page. This is app.js. So Steve, if you make any changes to app.js, so if, if you use Gitpod and you go to, it's right here in source and containers and app.js. If you make any changes here, Steve, they're going to show up in the, uh, in the front page. So you can start you know, adding any kind of code you want there right away if you want. Um, so that, that's for Steve. That's for Steve. And Ricardo, if you want to add, if you want to start with the API uh, library. So I created this, this just this basic index.js. And ba basically here, where it says get appointments and all of this stuff, this is where uh, instead of this, I want to integrate your API library. So you could create a file here that's called api.js in the actions. Uh-huh. Uh, Ricardo, is that you? No, I think it was Andy. No, it was me. Oh, OK. Uh, did you? It was me, but uh, I see. Uh, I see. Thank you, Oscar. OK. Uh, I'll do, I will. Uh, yeah, I, will, I suppose I will import the, the, the library uh, to the index.js in order to use it. Uh, beginning on line 40. Uh, yeah, no, but I, I, I would prefer if you like create a new file ca called api.js 
and just modulate yeah. the, AP, the API calls there so I can call them from this file separately. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, well, uh, basically extracting to logic uh, that you have there, well, or replacing, but in, used to import on um, index, right? Yeah, I, I, what, I, what I would do is, if you write a, an API file in the actions folder, I would be do something like import, fetch, issues, like whatever you want to call the function, fetch issues or whatever, from right. API, right? And basically, API would be a, a new file here. The reason I, I would like you to do it like this, uh, Ricardo, is because I don't want us both messing around with the same file because it could it could produce a, a merge uh, collision. Okay. Yeah, of course, sure. For not cluttering the the file with uh, code that can be isolated, it's good. Yes, let, let's isolate our work. So if you could just create that other file here and make it accessible from an import, then I can import it later uh, in the day or tomorrow and uh, and just replace this with your, you know, uh, fetch uh, issues uh, function that you write over there, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, wonderful, Ricardo, thank you. Um, Okay, so those are two tasks that uh, I think they are already they are already here. I guess the uh, the like first um, creative work that you you can you can uh, contribute here, Steve. You could sort of uh, we could like make a note here. Um, I guess I could uh, write something like um, add some uh, style. Uh, and widgets, even if they don't do anything, to, and I'm just going to copy the address, the the direct address of the file where that should happen, which is com containers app.js. So right, right over here is where you can start modifying the code, Steve, if you like. Perfect. Uh, oh, let me just add this here. Here we go. App.js. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Steve. And as for um, Ricardo, I think go uh, where? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, this is the, I guess I'm going to add a to do. And I think it's like this. No, I think it's. Um, oh, I don't know how to do this. Uh, can anyone tell me? Like, what's the? I guess. Um, I'll check. Uh, what, what are you up to? I'm trying to uh, write a checklist. Ah, uh, to-do list. Here it is. Here it is. You got it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, to do, and. I'm just going to go ahead and sort of add the file here so it's easier. So I'm just going to add a new file called API.js. API.js and just um, API calls to, uh, and to GitHub. And I'm going to, I'm going to take the documentation we saved here before and I'm gonna add it here and I'm, I basically what I am the, the problem definition is something like fetch issues and uh, repo no org slash repo is gonna be one and uh, filters basically that's that's like the that's what we wanna we wanna do with the with the documentation here, right? Okay, sure. Okay, and then I'm gonna save this. Yeah, you already explained me. Uh huh. Early, early on the morning, Oscar. Uh huh. Uh, so, so yeah, I got it clear. Uh, but but it's it's useful to see the to do, check out there. Uh, will be more much more clarifying once uh, working once. Uh, I need to begin working on it after the meeting. 
Yes, of course. Uh, take your time. Like we have this whole week to do that. Uh, I, I understand we're all busy. I, I also have like job interviews and stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, whenever you have time, uh, it would be just cool if, if you can just write this function for us. And then I'm just going to sort of very lazily and and very comfortably kind of place it here. And then I'm going to sort of uh, put it in the uh, in the container that uh, that Steve is going to beautify. Right. It's basically what we're going to do. Try to get done this week. Um, and uh, yeah, so so I guess I guess this is it. I guess this is a good um, a good meeting. Um, does anyone have any questions or suggestions? Like uh, Giuseppe, Shadman, Andy, Kel Wilson, uh, Mike, and Jose Ramon. I'm interested to hear your ideas as well. So uh, you you can you can tell us like if there's anything you would add or change or or contribute. That would be super cool to know. Uh, yeah, I have a question, Oscar. Uh -huh. um, why are you using Notion or not, for example, uh, like a Kanban board in GitHub or the project feature that GitHub has? Uh, that's a good question. Um, basically, I learned how to use Notion in my internship at Microverse. And uh, I, I, uh, partly, I, um, I really liked it. And uh, I kind of just got used to it. <laughs> so, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just well, for previous experience. But uh, we could use that for a future project. Like, we, we could do that totally. Yeah, because uh, what what I saw is that they are very similar. They look uh, pretty much as the same thing. And, yeah, maybe it would be good to have everything in the same place inside the GitHub project. So yeah, that's that's my only question. Yeah, it's a it's a good suggestion. It's, we should look into that uh, for future projects, probably. Yeah, I have a I have a quick question. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been aware, I mean I'm in the group. I've been aware of like you guys being working on this, but to be honest, I haven't had the time to uh, read and uh, and see exactly what you guys are you uh, are building. So I was wondering if you can guys. Explain for me. Explain to me briefly exactly the whole the whole thing. Uh, fortunately, uh, at the beginning of this stream, I gave an explanation, and it's okay. it's recorded. So I'll share it with you uh, when the episode is over, Jose Ramon. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Oscar. You're very welcome. Um, does anybody else have any questions, suggestions, ideas? I'm interested to hear everybody. Just to the point of what uh, Giuseppe was talking about with the Kanban board. Yeah, you're right. You know, that Kanban board is something that we definitely use uh, in practice and what Microverse has definitely suggested to us using GitHub Flow. Um, however, for the purposes of this particular meeting, to keep things as light as possible while also allowing everyone to communicate in a more Free manner. I think Notion has a lot of really useful features, like the meetings uh, tab, or they have separate little rooms where you can write like little wikis of documentation. Uh, it, for keeping a large team together, mob programming style, I think you can express a lot um, using Notion. And definitely, when we want to um, mock more professional environments of our flow, then absolutely we can use the Kanban flow with the GitHub flow and the projects feature in GitHub. And we can write our issues, connect the labels, connect it to the project board, and uh, assign persons to specific tasks. But as we're starting out and really just trying to have a nice light approach um, working into it, I think that Notion does a really great job at that. Write something, give some feedback so everyone knows what we're, what we're up to, and just keep on following it that way. So I just wanted to shed my thoughts on that. Yeah, I think it's cool because uh, it allows for a lot of like uh, freedom in format, um, and it's it's just a lot of fun to use. Um, but uh, we should learn to use as many tools as possible. Because uh, I'm gonna be very honest. Uh, one of the things I regret the most about um, uh, that I regret the most all the time <laughs> is not learning to use as many different tools as possible. Because uh, a lot of jobs will tell you like, oh. 
you, you got to use JavaScript, but uh, it's a plus if you know Python as well, or if you've used, uh, you know, this other technology, or if you know this and that. And so it's like, um, if the more tools you know how to use, the more um, available you become to like the professional world. So I'm totally interested in doing that. But uh, we will we'll probably switch to that in, in our, our next project, if, if there is one. Hopefully, like, in my, my best hope for this uh, uh, space is that it becomes, like, it, it, t it takes on a life of, of its own. Like, I don't, that I don't have to be here for future groups to come together and sort of make streams and make open source projects on, on GitHub. I, I would like to have like a legacy here. Um, so my hope is that uh, future generations will use all the all those uh, wonderful tools that you mentioned. So yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I'm I'm totally open to that. It's uh, it's really cool that you mentioned it. Um, anyway, anyway, I, I guess uh, we don't have a lot more to discuss, and it's a little bit early, but I guess we can finish early today since we all have stuff to do. Um, so we're going to leave it there. Uh, this has been Code Hunters. We're, I forgot to mention the name of the episode, the, the, the name of the series at the beginning again. But we're Code Hunters. We're hunting for easy issues to solve on GitHub. And uh, if nobody has any questions, I guess we can all um, get back to our job search. Okay. There's only one thing left to say, and that's merge it. <laughs> no, it's, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, thank you, Steve. Thank you, Giuseppe, Jose Ramon, Andy, Ricardo, Mike. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining. And uh, stay tuned for further announcements. We're going to be doing this uh, often, hopefully more often, maybe once again this week. So I'll let you know in our WhatsApp group, OK? OK, see you guys. Thank you. See you, Jose Ramon. That's perfect. Thank you so see you. much. Bye, thanks, you. See you. Bye. Bye, Ricardo. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.